Barcelona 3, Espanyol 1. I mean, Hansi Flick, what this guy is doing for Barcelona right now is, is just a joke. He's turned some players that some football fans didn't know, like Casado, and they are looking like world-class talents. Young guy as well. you got Danny Olmo, who a lot of the Barca fans didn't want, purely due to the fact that Fermi Lopez, you know, is a similar profile of player, scores goals, you know, from um, attacking midfield position. But um, Danny Olmo has been incredible. Another two goals today for him today. That's now five goals in six games. And then you've got Lamine Yamal, who just continues to just wow everyone with another assist. Most assists in La Liga. I think five goals and seven assists in La Liga. Incredible. You've got Rafinha, you know, who you could say has been Barcelona's most consistent player this season. Another goal from him today. He works super hard um, in that front three. Like, Yamal works hard, so does Liwa. But Rafinha works harder than everyone else. And Rafinha is the one who also sets the tempo for that Barca attack. He's the one that does the pressing. He covers more ground than almost anyone on the pitch, man. And he has been absolutely incredible like i said he doesn't get the opportunity like yamal to just enjoy himself on the wing and do all the dribbles and stuff because yamal's playing in his favorite position obviously lee was a striker rafinha would rather play on the right you know just to have access to he can cut in and shoot and do all of that but being the one that's sacrificed a little bit playing out wide on the left even though he does come centrally as well and makes runs in behind i mean he's just been an amazing man and then talk about that kid casado in the middle i mean another fantastic assist like for a defensive midfielder you think okay he, he works hard, he's a decent passer of the ball, but no, he's a great passer of the ball. He's got IQ, he's got vision, he's got he's got range of passing, you know, and that's a really, really impressive for a player like him in this position. It's going to be difficult for Frankie de Jong and for um, Gavi to get back into this Barcelona starting eleven because you can't drop Dani Olmo. Pedri is a must starter and this Casado kid has just been unbelievable. I mean, he's playing against big teams he's turned up against Bayern he's turned up against Madrid he's turning up against the big teams not just the smaller teams so yeah and um yeah you got Balde got an assist there as well second half the, the tempo did drop a bit removing um Olmo and Casado um Barca were a bit more weak centrally and I do feel like the they allowed Espanyol to have a few more chances and eventually they would get a goal. The thing about Barca, this high line thing is just a masterclass because Espanyol scored two goals today and um, that were ruled out for offside, literally. And it's not a coincidence because Barcelona have done this to almost every team this season. But yeah, a very, very impressive start to the season. Hansi Flick has got this team looking absolutely incredible. And right now, there's no denying that Barcelona are playing the best football in the world. No one is playing the football Barca are doing. They are scoring so many goals. The football is very positive. And a lot of it, what's so impressive is the amount of young players that are in that team who are all playing exceptionally well. So yeah, man. Um, so Barcelona should believe they can win everything this season.